Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel today. This is going to be an interesting video for me because I'm on my lunch break. I've given myself 45 minutes to film this and my battery on my phone is 40%. So this should be a good time. Today for you guys, I have to haul close to 50 books and manga. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to go through manga and I'm going to start off with series that I bought um, continuation volumes on. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Perfect World Volume 2 by Rai Aruga. I am currently reading this. As you can see the bookmark, I love this. So this series follows our main character, Kawana, and she's at like a work outing and she runs into Itsuki um, and he was her first like high school love and um, they meet again and he is now paralyzed and in a wheelchair. So it goes through um, them getting closer together and it also talks about the problems that he has with his spinal cord injury. It's very good. I gave volume one five stars and this one's probably going to be a five star too. And honestly, even though I'm just now reading the second volume, I think that this series is going to be one of my favorite manga series of all time and I can't see myself giving any volume less than five stars. We're going to go ahead and make that prediction. We're going to be bold. Let's get it. Okay, so the next thing I have is I actually hauled, have hauled volume seven and eight of this series but I can't find volume seven because like it's chaos. Books everywhere. I need to get my life more organized but whatever. I'm a hot mess. I have volume 8 of Come We Can't Communicate by Tomohito Oda. I love this series. I love Komi. So Komi Can't Communicate involves our main character Komi and she has a communication disorder and one day she ends up alone in the classroom with Tanano and he starts talking to her and they're talking on the chalkboard or whiteboard in the classroom together and he decides that he is going to help her make 100 friends. <clears throat> The second thing, the third thing actually I have to haul for you guys is volume two of Prince Freya by Kiko Ishihara. In the first volume, um, something happens to the prince and he ends up dying and Freya looks just like him so she takes over the role in his place and no one knows um, that it's actually Freya and they think it's the prince and it's just going to be going on from that. I'm very excited. Okay. This next one I have read, and it is Volume 3 of Yuzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out by Take. This is a slice of life series. It follows our main character, Yuzaki-chan, and she loves like, picking on and hanging out with the main male character, who is our point of view. Man, I never remember his name because she always calls him Senpai and I just want to call him Senpai. But I love this series. It's so cute and there's just like really funny instances that happen and it just cracks me up. I already pre-ordered volume four. It comes out in December. Very excited about it. Next thing I have is volume three of Sweat and Soap by Kenetsu Yamada. I love this series. I can't believe I haven't read this volume yet. I did get it last week. Um, this falls our mayor to Asoko, and she has had a problem with like sweating and like a body odor her whole life. And um, she works for this company that sells soaps. And one day she's looking at the new spring display. Our fucking boy comes up and is like, "What is that smell?" And it's her. It's her smell. He loves it. And then he is like every day for this week he's like can I come up and sniff you and she's like uh sure whatever and then <laughs> their relationship develops from there it's I love it it's great it's some sexy time so if you're not 18 like you should probably like wait to pick this up but I love this series it's so good and I'm really excited to read this volume and I need to do it this week like, if I haven't read this by next week, you all need to come after and be like, girl, what are you doing? And I'll be like, girl, I don't know. Anyways, okay. So, the next three things I want to talk about are volumes two, three, and four of Candy Color Paradox by Asuku Natsume. So, this series follows our main two characters, and it just, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's 
get into this stack that it is first volumes in series. So we have Ruby, and this is by the Bunta Konami, and this is based on the series by Rooster Teeth. I love it. Like, I've watched all six seasons that are out so far. Like, I have no words. I love this series. I love Ruby. This basically follows Ruby, who wants to be a huntress. She is at Beacon Academy, training to be a huntress, and her sister Yang is also there. Love Yang. She's amazing. And they're trying to learn how to defeat these things called Grimm. But there's like more to it than that. But I want people to go and blind and figure that out for themselves. I just love this series. It's so good. I'm currently reading it as you can see. Next thing is also Ruby, but it's a light novel. And it is Ruby Before the Dawn. And this doesn't follow Ruby or any of that group. It follows some other characters we meet. And this actually takes place... Um, after events of season three, so I can't really talk about what this is about, but I saw it and I was like, I need it. And then the next thing I have is Spy Family Volume 1 by Tatsuya Endo, and I am not for sure what this is about. And then the next three things, I have Citrim's Volume 1, 2, and 3, and this is by Saburota, and this is following our main character. Ahara Yuzu and um, she is going to this new all girls academy because her mom got married to he's like related he's the son of like the dean or whatever come to find out her stepsister met my May, and then they start like developing feelings for each other look at that I also love these covers it's great okay now we're gonna get on to different age categories of actual books so like I have book one in a middle grade series. This is A School for Good and Evil, and this is by Somain Chainani. And this is about two girls, and in this world, there is this like headmaster, and he comes and he'll like take two people that are like 12 in the middle of the night, and he one goes to the school for good and one goes to the school for evil. I picked this up because of Lexi from Alexandra Rosalind. I'll leave her link down below. Then I have The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta, and this is told in <clears throat> verse, and I don't know much about it, but like this cover is great. What does it look like naked? Is it just pink? Oh no, look! It has little flamingos on it. Cute. Okay. I don't know much about that one, but I picked it up because of Jesse from Bowties and Books, who is fabulous. And then I picked up Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power, but this follows our main character, Margot. Um, she doesn't know a lot about her family, her mom won't tell her, and then she ends up going to her mom's family and like cornfields are involved. I don't know. I picked this up because of Kayla from Books on La Love. Okay, next thing I hate myself for, but I did it. My nostalgia brain said like, bitch, do it. So we have Midnight and Sun by Stephanie Meyer. Like I hate, I, ah. um, this is Edward's point of view from Twilight. Like if you don't know Twilight, I don't know what to tell you. And then, oh, I'm so excited about this. I heard about it from Starla, from Starla Reads, and Jesse from Jesse Bowties and Books. Um, and this is Ray Bear by Jordan Ifueco. I don't know much about it. I just know it sounded right up my alley. And I am, oh, it looks like there's short chapters, like, hallelujah, amen, praise bless. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Yes. I'm really excited. I'm, oh my god. What? I'm so excited about this one. I don't know much about it. Want to go in it blind. I know it's fantasy. Get hype. And then the next one I picked up is a Starla too. And this I her first heard about it on her channel. And this is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This follows our main character, I think, who is a descendant of Cinderella. And every year, um, girls have to go to this ball. If they don't get matched up with a suitor, like, bye, don't know where you go. That's all I know. We'll see if I'm right or not. I think I am, but, like, I don't really know. Excited. The next thing I got in, like, a fairy loot or an Alcrate, and this is Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. I have no idea what this is about. And then the next thing I got, I know I got this in a fairy loot, and this is The Gilded Ones by um, Namina Forna. And I know that this is about, like, this girl, also look at these sprayed edges, yes, 
if you like if your blood or something like runs a different color you're like a demon you get taken to like a demon forest or something that actually might be totally wrong i will get to this eventually this arc is beautiful this doesn't come out until like i don't even know when okay let's go with the other fairy loot one that i know for sure is fairy loot and that is forest of souls by Lori emily i have no idea what this is about to be honest and then I got this from Alcray. This is Star Daughter by Shvita Thakrar. I think this is about like this girl and her mom is a, a star or something. But I, I didn't learn about it before I got this and I put it on my T Goodreads TBR. So like apparently I really like the synopsis what I really like to do and we're gonna be real is like I see a book and I'm like oh that synopsis sounds great add it to my TBR for like whenever I get to it on Goodreads and then I immediately forget what the synopsis is so does that happen to you let me know I can't be the only one right maybe I am I don't really know. okay and then this is also like an Al Crater fairly this is shielded by Kaylin Flanders also no clue look a sprayed edge fantastic we love to see it okay the next is an Alcrate exclusive edition this is where dreams descend by Janella Angelus I'm really bad okay so also look at these end pages can we get a hell yes because hell yes I know this is has to deal with the circus and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte likes it and she said it reminds her of The Greatest Showman which I love that movie okay I just had to check my phone battery 20% we can do this guys okay if I go, just go really really fast I have like two stacks left we have got it okay the first two adult books I'm going to talk about you're going to be like girl you don't even like romance and I'll be like I know but like I was told to get these books so here we go first one is one to watch and this is by Kate Stamen London I saw Riley from Riley Marie read this and it basically is the bachelorette but like she's a plus size girl and she's just like why is there no representation in this show and she's a blogger and she blogs about it and then they're like come be the bachelorette and she's like um i guess i think there's some like mixed media in this but i was like i love like i am trash and love the bachelor bachelorette i haven't watched the past like i don't know like five seasons because chris and i don't have cable but i'm excited about this that's <laughs> the first one and the second romance I got is Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. And I know so there's Cat from Paperback Dreams and I also think Olivia um, recommend this and neither one of them really likes romance but they said like this is really good. I've heard really good things about it and it's about our main character Chloe Brown and I think she has like what is it called chronically a chronicle illness and she has a list of things that she wants to do and I believe this man helps her I don't know who he is or who where he comes from but I will find out when I read this okay we can do this okay I'm just like psyching myself out right now okay so the next thing I have is the deep by river Solomon they wrote this um in collaboration with the group clippings which defeated dx is in and then william hudson and jonathan snipes um this is about people like women that were slaves that got thrown overboard when they are pregnant and now they're all sirens and there's one person that keeps the memories it sounds really really good after i read this i want to listen to the song i think that's the order i'm gonna do it in i'm very excited to read this also i pre-ordered this like this cover is stunning so excited okay we'll be reading it soon the next book i have is a horror book by nick cutter and it's called the deep i know it has stuff to do with like deep down in the ocean and like i love like deep sea horror so i hope this like fits the bill and like good stuff happens i don't really know and then when i have the passengers by john mars i don't know what this is about actually that's a lie i do there's like self-driving cars and the people get locked to them and then there's people that are seeing this happen and they're like who gets to die who gets to live i read the one by john mars loved it and i was like i need to pick up more of his books so i did 
Next, I don't know much about this one, but this is Out. It is a translated work from Japanese by Natsuo Karino. And I know this has to do with like, oh, why did she kill her husband? That's all I really know. The next thing I got is The Shadows by Alex North. I don't know much about this one either. Like I said, I read the synopses and then I forget. And then I don't have the dust jacket for this one because I took it off as I was going to start reading and it didn't because that's like my whole life. Um, this is The Safe Place by Anna Downs. And I like picture the cover with me. I think this is what the cover looks like. There is a pool and there's a girl in it. Whoa, I know, right? Typical thriller cover and it's just like, I don't even know. I got that recommendation from Alexa Dunn. And then I have My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is about a couple. You know, they've been married for a while. What do you do to spice up your marriage? You start killing people. That's all I have to say about this. Also, a recommendation from Kayla from Books and Lala because, like, she really liked this and I trust her opinion. And then I got An Unkindness of Goats also by River Solomon. We mentioned them earlier. I know this has to do with, like, space. And I think it takes place on a spaceship. And, like, if I, if someone's like, oh, this book is set in space, it better be on a spaceship or else I won't read it. That's all I have to say about that. Don't know much about it. <sighs> like I said, I don't do synopses very well. And then, also, a recommendation from Alexa Dunn. I got The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. And this is about this girl, and she, like, sleepwalks, um, and then she gets there's like a rainstorm and then she gets found and then she's like famous after that and she's like I'm over this so then changes her name moves away like all the good stuff and then she has to come back to town and then she starts sleepwalking again and she sleepwalks and finds a dead body whoa 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 into it okay we're almost there the next thing I have is the night swim by Megan Golden and this is one of my most anticipated thrillers of the year. It follows our main character who's a podcast host. And then she, there's like a rape trial and she's covering and there's this person in this town. like, my sister got murdered like years ago and starts leaving notes on Rachel's car, who is the main character by the way. Her name is my name. It's crazy. Rachel's like, I'm going to figure this out too. And then we have The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes by Elisa R. Sloan. And this follows our main character, Cassidy, and she's a member of like a pop group and then she commits suicide and then things go from there. I'm excited about this, but I'm also, I haven't read it yet because I know like the based on my like mental and emotional health, how that's been, I don't think I can read this right now. And I recognize that. Okay, sorry if I moved a little bit. I forgot I had three more books in my bedroom that I needed to haul. <sighs> Okay, the first one is, is Mexican Gothic by, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath because I like ran in there real quick. <laughs> it's by Silvia Moreno Garcia, and this is about our main character whose sister writes and is like, my husband's poisoning me. I think that's what it is. And then Noemi is our main character. She goes to the cousin and then creepy shit starts happening. I think there's body horror in this, which... I've never experienced before, so I don't know if I'm gonna like jive with that, but we'll see what happens. Don't have much more to go. Let's do it. Okay. Then I have The Chestnut Man by Soren Seistrup, and this is about um, police chief. Her daughter gets kidnapped or murdered, and then a year later, people start getting murdered. A chestnut man is left behind, and the daughter's DNA is on it somehow and I heard short chapters Starla liked it I picked it up as a Starla I hope I like it girl I trust you and then we have a random manga so this is called Flowers of Evil by Shuzo Oshimi this is the first three volumes bind up this is about our lonely bookish teen struggling to find identity through poetry Two girls, beauty and a bully, help him find true love and friendship. I've heard this classified as horror. It's like on horror shelves and Goodreads. So we'll see about it. I don't really know. Okay, the last 
five things are nonfiction. We've got this fam. The first thing is Save the Cat Writes a Novel. This is by Jessica Brody and I actually am working on two different novels and I figured this would help me like plot out more and flesh out my ideas more so I'm currently reading it have some tabs in there slowly working through it because I want to take it in and let the information sink in so I could use it and I'm sure I'll reread this over time and I think it's going to be a good source found out about it from Kate Cavanaugh channel linked down below okay we got this this is The Five by Haley Rubenhold. I found out about this from Jean by Jean's Bookish Thoughts. Um, this is about the five women that were murdered by Jack the Ripper, the serial killer. And it's talking about their real lives, um, which no one really knows about because the lives of the victims aren't usually talked about. It's usually talked about the crimes themselves and who he could possibly be. I'm very excited about, about this. I've been really into true crime again lately. On that true crime kick, we have The Killer Book of True Crime, and this is by Tom Philbin and Michael Philbin. I have one of their other books. It's like The Serial Book of Serial Killers, and they give a lot of good information, and they give it in a way that's slightly humorous, but was still being serious and giving good information and facts. I really, really like this. The first section I've read and it talks about robbers which is really really interesting to me. And then the next section is looks like organized crime and gangs. So like let's learn more. And then I picked up Serial Killers of the 70s. Um, this is by Jane Fritch. She's just talking about serial killers in the 70s. Like I said I'm into true crime, serial killers, all that stuff. Excited. And then We've Made It Family is the last book and it is Bad Blood secrets and lies in the silicon valley startup by john carew i don't know much about this but i heard good things from alexa dunn and i think chelsea from chelsea darling reads also really like this i saw her goodreads review oh my gosh i don't really know much about it but like true crime into that Ooh, okay oh my god we did it i don't know how i'm surrounded by books this is chaos but like, let me know what you want me to read first. Let me know. I will do it. If you want a buddy read a book, let me know. I'll do it. And I think I want to do like some themed vlogs of some of these, but I need to figure that out. But I'm a go. My lunch break's about to be over. My phone's probably going to die. But I hope you had fun. I had fun. Let's do it again sometime, but like maybe with it on as many books and not giving myself a short time to do it and with like a fully charged phone to use, that would be cool. So have a good rest of your day whenever you're watching this. Stay hydrated, get a lot of sleep, stay safe, wear your mask, stay six feet apart, and I'll see you soon.